Welcome to some after climbing finger recovery that you could do approximately for 10, 20, 30, 40 minutes a day after you get done climbing to make sure your fingers don't feel the super stiffest or it could serve as a good way to warm up whichever way. Now, as you can look at my apparatus, currently I have a hangboard attached to a carabiner attached to a band. Now, the great thing about having the rubber band, man, is that it provides some form of a give and take to make it feel like you're actually pulling, which is really nice. But of course, you could also do this if you just have a static setup instead of the board moving your body would just be moving up and down but i do find this gives a little bit more uh feedback sensitivity as opposed to something like this so once you have a your setup all you basically need is one hang board let me run through the exercises that i like to do that helps keep my fingers hopefully like recovering before i hop into the exercises though i will say i do do this at the end of the day approximately three to four hours after my climbing session where my fingers still feel a little bit stiff and then I'll just come to the hangboard. I'll have my laptop set up. I'll put on a, a show, a K-drama. And then I'll just be here uh, doing my thing for like 30 minutes. And then after those 30 minutes are up, I might stretch a little bit and then call it a day. And that'd be good for my fingers. Now, the first exercise is just going to be a basic pull down where I hit it with a half crimp or whichever grip position you want. Really doesn't really matter. From here, I get into a nice lock off position and I'm just pumping it down a little bit at a time. You notice how it just moves a little bit. And in terms of the amount of force I'm using, uh, I'm hardly ever exceeding 70% of max power. So I'm just here, here, and I'm not really counting. I'm just making sure I get a nice feeling in my arms, a little bit of burn in my forearms. Once that's good, I'll switch arms, just bang, 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 bang. Really nice, really simple, makes my forearms feel nice. Exercise number two, and this is one of my favorite ones, and I always use a three finger drag. I'll put it in the three finger drag position. I'll look straight body sideways and I'll just lean like this and I'll just hold the three finger drag for a while and if I want to increase the intensity I'll simply lean more to the left or I'll position my torso more to the right before I start leaning. Also when you're doing this your shoulder position in relationship to where the apparatus hangs will have a pretty good significant effect to how comfortable the exercises is. So if you do it straight on like this you're going to feel a little bit more pressure in your shoulders as opposed to being slightly behind it and then doing it like this, which does feel a little bit more comfortable. And this is like really good for that constant lat engagement. Relatively simple. Now, of course, I also have my constant finger curls where I'll just open my hand nice and open. I'll curl it up, down, up, down, and I'll mess around just working the top portion. Maybe I'll just do the bottom portion and then I'll also do full range of motion. Again, the key idea here is just to give your fingers some motion and make it feel relatively good. Nothing serious, it's just make it feel good. Now, something new that I have been experimenting with is the mono. Now, the thing about the mono is I totally suck at it, but I can recall on the first day of me holding it and pulling down, switching my fingers. Now, when you first start this exercise and if you're not used to doing like monos and you pull down, you're going to feel it literally start the stretch from here all the way down to your form which doesn't feel exactly the best in the world but after a few days of doing this continuously i am noticing that my fingers are much more comf comfortable in the mono position and i'm able to crank a lot harder just simply by constantly having my fingers get accustomed to this feeling of being single single out and by itself and therefore it gives me a little bit more confidence when I, my fingers are in like pockets or monos and climbing and again, it's just interesting how when you just put a very minute amount of effort, because this is a very, very minute amount of effort, I'm maybe put, putting down about 40% force. And just over the course of three to four days, my fingers in the mono position already feel much stronger and much more comfortable. I think it has something to do with the fact that, again, you're just acclimating your body to something you haven't done before. And the beginning games are kicking in like crazy and does feel pretty good. So I would throw that into. And of course, if you're messing around with this, constantly doing micro uh, strength pose, you're gonna want to eventually hit it with one really hard pull every now and then. So I will throw in a max 100% strength pull, but I won't use a grip that I'm super strong at. Like for example, I'm a open hand guy and I could crank the living daylights out of open hand, but I don't really wanna do 100% at my strongest grip. So I'll either do a max pull in half crimp or full crimp, and I'll just pull for as long as it's comfortable. I'll get ready. And then I might do this hand. I mean, I will do the other hand. 
And that's just me firing off my muscles really quickly, making sure they're still awake, but I'm not really trying to fatigue it, nor am I actually trying to get stronger. I just think by working it really fast after it's warmed up, when it's stiff, it's a good thing to make sure your tendons stay nice and healthy. Uh, now, likewise, you guys will see that I've been using this total jug of a, oh, my knuckles are stuck, of the total jug of a uh, edge size. And for me, I'm not too focused on the edge size because again, active recovery, I'm not trying to do too much work, but I will alternate between all these grips. Sometimes I'll mess around with the 15 because the 15 feels really good. I'll mess around with the 20 sometimes, depending on whichever I feel like. And this metal rung right here with nothing on it, I find it's really good for my three finger drag for one reason or another. Again, but the grip position doesn't really matter. I mean, edge size. Now, in addition to hanging like this and pulling, I will also whoop, hit it with the undercling grip and pull like this as well, just to hit my biceps a little bit more and just to hit the angles a little bit more differently, right? Just get that uh, variety of motion going on. I will also work my thumbs. I'll stick it in, whoop, and I'll crank it down like I'm, well, you know, holding onto it as with just my thumbs. Obviously, both of them will get hit. And I think that's good just because I don't really activate my thumbs that much, nor, will I, nor have I ever actively trained them like that. And I'll also grab just literally the hangboard. I'll pinch it and I'll pull down and I'll do this two hands at a time. I'll do it one hand at a time just to make sure that thumb gets some engagement because we have five fingers. We should train all five fingers. I think that makes sense. Now a new exercise that I just decided to add in today because I just made this setup today is I'll take this and I'll turn the hangboard in this orientation so it faces me and then I'll stretch out my arm with a slight bend and then I'll lean into it this way. And what I'm basically trying to replicate here is a really big spanning move. <clears throat> and this really activates my lats. My fingers are semi-engaged. Well, they are as engaged as they can be. And this right here is just a really low version or easy version of doing like an iron cross in the climbing positions where you have to do a really span. Now I'll also hold the hangboard in this orientation as well as this orientation because this is a little bit more applicable for climbing. Say you do a really big span move, ha, ka, and then you catch it like this. Now I'll just quickly like to run through a pretty realistic uh, portrayal of what my hangboarding protocol would look like. Here's the snippet that's been fast forward and it's been compressed. So I'll just chill, three finger drag, chill, three finger drag, come here, do some pose, ha 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 ha, do some pose, ha 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 ha. Switch it to the monos. Ah, go through all five fingers. Do, 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 do. Go through all five fingers. Do, 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 do. I'll switch the grip. Maybe hit my thumb. Yeah. Hit my other thumb. Yeah. On the back side of this is a 10 mil. I'll do 10 mil full crimp on the clean. Yeah. 10 mil full crimp on the clean. Yeah. And then I'll come here. I'll do one max isometric pole. Yeah. Another one max isometric pole. Yeah. I'll take it here. Three finger drag. I'll do a really far off shoulder position hold. There, switch. Really far off shoulder position hold. Switch. Come here, do a bunch of finger curls. Maybe 20 to 40. Ha, switch, 20 to 40 finger curls. Ha. And I'll repeat that for 30, 40, 45 minutes, just depending on how good I feel. Now after that, oh, I also forgot that I have a pull-up bar. And in between some of these hangs, I'll do a one-arm hang assisted with my feet on the ground because I, I suck at hanging from the polar bar. I, I don't know why. I just never been good at hanging from the polar bar, even though I'm a pretty good climber by my own regards and most people's regard. But when it comes to hanging from a polar bar straight, I am pretty, pretty bad at it, honestly. So I'll also throw those in and along with all my finger stuff. Now after all that shenanigan, I like to put my arms through a range of motion that I would normally use when I'm climbing, except I'm not climbing. So for me, what that looks like is doing imaginary pull-ups. Uh, I'll do about 20, 25 of these, give or take. And then I'll also like to do uh, bicep curls with just my body weight. I'll take my arms, squeeze it against my body, activating my lats. If you look, as I turn my elbow inwards, my lat starts to flare out a little bit and that tightness is good. So from here, I'll start hands face down, curl them up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And that makes my arm feel nice and warm, gets my bicep feeling good. Again, the pull-ups and I'll also do side lateral raises just like that. I'm not really trying to go all the way to the top. 
nor am I trying to go to the bottom. I'm just trying to get a nice range of motion in to make it feel good. And then I'll do that for maybe five, about five minutes just to make it feel nice. And then I'll finish off with a little bit of stretching, what that stretching is. Now, when I stretch, it's always a very, very similar pattern. I typically start like this. I'll go to the ground. I'll hit this, hold it for a little bit of time. Go into a bridge, hold this for a little bit of time. Come into my pancake, arguably my favorite stretch known to mankind. Hold this for quite a while. Maybe mess around a little bit. Maybe hit a butterfly for literally five seconds. Into an egg, into a slight standing forward fold. Ah. Now one thing I really do like to do is I like to condition my uh, knee and ankle joints while I'm doing all this shenanigan. So one thing I really like to do is I'll take my ankle and I'll place it upon my hip. And from here, I'll force my ankle down into the earth like so. And what that basically does is it forces my knee to rotate outwards. And that's just good for when you're doing those heel hooks that are in very precarious situations. Now, of course, I'm obviously doing it to both sides of my legs. In addition, I like to practice some drop knees on the ground. So what this looks like is I'll just lean on my back, take my knees, and I'll just literally pivot it downwards just like that. And from here, I could lift up my torso, putting a little bit more pressure on my knee. If that's too much, I can lower it down and I'll just go back and forth and literally just work out the motions and the grooves of it, making it feel good, right? And in terms of my upper body stretch, I'll just basically do this one. Da, 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 da. Maybe do some of this. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Maybe some of this, some overhead arm circles, which I think are really, really good for the shoulder health in general. Just raise your hands up and do some small arm circles. If you could do that, you have great shoulder mobility, particularly simple stuff. And I'll basically just repeat that for uh, maybe 10 to 20 minutes, depending on how I feel. I won't necessarily put too much emphasis on it. Some days I'll be a little bit more flexible than others. Some days I won't be. But um, that basically sums up about 30 to 50 minutes of active recovery, approximately three to four hours after I get done climbing. And lately I've been doing this every single day for the past four or five days. I'm not so sure. It feels really good though. Again, the thing that makes this uh, particularly enjoyable for me is right over here. Uh, right, right, right there. Right there, right? Because every single day, uh, given I'm sure everyone every single day spends a couple hours watching meaningless, meaningless bullshit. Um, this isn't it. This is my, anyways, watching meaning, meaningless bullshit. And I was like, let me try to be a little bit more active with my meaningless bullshit time. Oh, oh, I got this. I'll just start messing around and it'll help my fingers feel better. I think it's way too early for me to say that the results of doing this are really beneficial, but I will say that it hasn't negatively impacted me at all, but it does make me feel like I'm doing more. And by doing that, it feels like I'm putting in a great amount of effort and makes me feel a little bit more confident in my fingers and their integrity and their strength and their health. But uh, I'll keep doing this and I'll probably give an updated video in the future. But uh, yeah, that's my uh, active finger recovery arm stuff climbing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, partner.